How's it going guys? Needless Space here and welcome to the channel with fast and easy Destiny 2 guides. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get, start, and get through the new Harbinger quest that allows you to repeatedly get Hawkmoon to get your hands on insane god rolls. Now I will say before you get your hands on the quest and before you can start it, you do have to finish the main Hawkmoon exotic quest line first. The one that allows you to first get your hands on Hawkmoon. Once that's out of the way though, you can head to the Tangled Shore and pick up this new Harbinger exotic quest from the Crow. So once you grab the quest, now we'll be heading to Trossland and EDZ. And remember in the previous video, I showed you guys that hidden path that was found by shooting the fireplace with Hawkmoon. Well, we're going to be going into that path. And when you first step in, you'll notice the electrical switch on the left can actually be activated now. This is how you start the Harbinger quest. Once started, you're going to just make your way through this tunnel. And when you get to the door at the end, it actually opens up this time. Once outside, you'll notice this area looks a little bit familiar when we did the original Hawkmoon quest, but we cannot go through this tunnel on the path anymore. Now what you're going to have to do is jump to the ledge where you see the taken enemy, and then look down along the cliffside and you'll see this skinny dead tree sticking out from the rocks. We're going to have to jump to that dead tree, shimmy your way to the very end, and we're actually going to have to jump all the way across to the dam where you see these three tunnels down below. After you make that long jump, just parkour your way across the dam and up into this tunnel that's underneath this rusty ledge. Now that you're actually in the dam, you'll get into this huge long room that I want to call the main room. Now all three Harbingers are going to start off in this room. And to make this easier, just start off by attacking all the adds and all the Harbingers. When you start to damage the Harbingers, each one will actually disappear into a side room once they're damaged enough. So take out all the adds in the main room, then just start exploring each of the side rooms until you find some adds, and that's where each of the Harbingers are going to be located. While you're doing this though, be sure to keep an eye out for these glowing paracausal feathers that are located around the map. You don't have to get all these at once, but they will fill up the meter that actually completes the quest to get you the new ship. It's not too hard, especially since this quest is repeatable, to fill up this meter. It just might take a few runs. Once you do have all three Harbingers defeated, you're going to make your way to the end of the dam towards the reservoir. This is the room that you actually fight the boss in the Lake of Shadows Strike. Once in there, you're going to fight a horde of taken enemies, and you're going to essentially have to survive to the end until you get the chest to drop. Once all the enemies are defeated, you're going to make your way to the second level of the reservoir, up into this room with a portal. Jumping into the portal actually takes us back to the area where we completed the original Hawkmoon quest, but it's going to be slightly more difficult this time. We're going to make our way to the Shard of the Traveler, killing adds and bosses until finally we get the Hawkmoon to drop. Now if you don't know yet, unlike the original Hawkmoon, this Hawkmoon has random rolls. That's why this quest can be repeatable to get your hands on the exact roll that you want. I appreciate you guys watching the video. If it helped or if you can appreciate fast and easy Destiny 2 guides, consider leaving a like and subscribing to the channel for more. Don't forget to follow me on Twitch, twitch.tv slash needless space. I just started streaming on there sometimes. I will catch you guys in the next video and as always, good luck and have fun.